The freaking fabulous Kat Corchardo, proud US Air Force veteran, health and wellness professional, founder of Small Space Pilates, podcast host, published author, and GME roving reporter. Thanks, Kevin Carey. Hi, everybody. This is the freaking fabulous Kat Corchardo coming to you as a roving reporter for Good Morning Entrepreneurs. So this is another series in our push-up challenge. Well, not really challenge. It's a way to get your upper body a little bit stronger. But we're taking it in, in segments, in increments, little steps to get to that success. So, so what we're going to actually do today is actually move our upper body a little bit, okay? If you notice, I have this ball right here. So a lot of people have an easy time going down in a push-up but a harder time pushing up, okay? So this ball is gonna be a gauge and you can use any ball you want. Well, maybe I should put it right there so you can see it. So let's go into our modified push-up position. And you're gonna place the ball, it can be a basketball, anything that's not gonna roll on you and you're gonna get into your push-up position. So your knees are hip width distance, your upper chest is over the ball and your arms are slightly wider than your shoulders. So I'm going to go down. I'm going to touch the ball and press back up. Down, touch the ball and press back up. I'm going to do one more and press back up. So all I'm doing is going down halfway and it makes you feel like you have a sense of accomplishment. Like, yes, I'm doing a push-up, and yes, that is considered a push-up. And then we're going to work our way all the way down and then pushing up. So I hope this is working for you no matter where you're at in your push-up progression, whether it's against the wall, you're doing modified push-ups, just keep doing it. So until then, back to you, Kim and Carrie. Thanks, Kat. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Kim, now I have to inter interject here. Can I have a bigger ball? Can can I can I make the ball bigger? Is that a thing, Cat? I'm putting it out there for you. You need to answer this question. Can we have a bigger ball? Is that a thing? Are you being aware, Carrie? Is that what you're saying? Correct. Aware of a bigger ball. Yes. So, Carrie, Cat founded the Small Space Pilates, aka the SS Pilates Yacht Club, which is an online community and has helped me personally make a lot of progress in my health and in my fitness, really. And she is so generous. She even gives the guests a week of free classes to see if it's for them. But Carrie, we have a surprise for Kat this morning because we are so excited about what she has like done. So let me share really quickly. Push what the button. Push the button. I'm, I'm pushing the button, Carrie. It's a freaking fabulous Kat Cochado, fit together stronger forever. have to say congrats to Kat on her three-year podcast birthday, Carrie. That three years is like a lifetime in podcasting. A lot of podcasts don't make it past like three episodes. And for her to get to the three-year mark and do it consistently, I cannot say any louder how proud I am of her. Oh, me too, Kim. And and we know because it is, a, it's a commitment and and oh cat has just committed to this podcast to make it to three years and kim it's today right today is today. yay is today. and the podcast is called sisters in service let's just like give that little shout out to you sisters in service is the name of the podcast cat cat is a proud veteran military veteran she is proud air force and the you know, the interviews she does on there, the things that she does on the podcast are so powerful and helping so many people, Carrie. So I think this is a week to celebrate her. And Kat, we are so proud of you. Happy, happy three. Happy three. Yay. Awesome. <laughs>